Hello again, everyone. This is Mark Semedini from Hewlett Packard Enterprise, and I'm here with Dave Loper from Clear Center. And today we're going to cover some of the pre installation options that are more advanced that, that uh, could be looked into and considered. Specifically, we're going to go over RAID and the reinstallation and the rescue. So over to you, Dave. All right, thanks. So within uh, the Grub menu, this is the, the boot menu for uh, ClearOS, we have some interesting tools. Now, you can normally just uh, take the pre-installation and, and then roll with that. Um, what's going to happen is if your pre-installation came with one disk, then you, know, you don't need to worry about RAID. If it came with more than one disk, though, what's going to happen is your system will have been pre-installed with RAID 1 across all of the devices. That's all of the devices. So that may be not what you want because maybe you've got a lot of storage and you want to set it up as a, as a big NAS server with you know RAID 5 or uh, RAID 6, or maybe you're gonna wanna do some database stuff. This um, particular tool is, is mostly designed for the partitions that the operating system are going to show up on. So if you want to do some other types of RAID or reclaim space, you can do some of those options from within ClearOS instead of uh, doing it here. And the reason for RAID 1 is it's the most flexible, right? You can take one RAID 1 and you can actually migrate to you know, RAID 5 or RAID 6 or RAID 10 from a position of RAID 1. So with, uh, with what we have there on the default, we do allow you to make some changes and to actually do a complete reinstall in a different RAID paradigm. Than, than what is there. So if you go under the advanced options, and in here our menu has boot ClearOS normally because we've chosen to keep ClearOS previously. So I'm gonna go under advanced options and I have a few different things on here. Uh, previously we talked about the language and today we're gonna to talk about things in, in these two categories. So the RAID um, options are actually under the reinstall of ClearOS because fundamentally that is a reinstall activity setting the RAID. So what this does is the Grub allows you to set a RAID preference. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to install that way. So for example, it will let you set RAID 5, for example. Even if you have two disks, it will let you set RAID 5, but it won't install as RAID 5. So this shows you, this gives you a preference, but it will, um, if it can't meet your preference, it's going to try to um, do what is the optimized um, installation for that level. So if you go and you look here at the um, RAID levels, for example, you'll see this optimized for space and redundancy. So there's already logic to say, okay, if I've got, ten, if I've got four disks, I'm going to do RAID 10 because that gives me kind of uh, a, the best of breed for space, redundancy, and speed, right? It's kind of the reason why you may have bought uh, the four disks in the first place, but maybe you wanted to do RAID 5 or RAID 6, right? So here you can choose uh, which you want. So I'm gonna choose RAID 5 here, um, and now you can see on the menu that our, our option is for RAID 5. So next time I do a reinstall, it's gonna go for a RAID 5 reinstall even if I do it a year later. So this option stays in memory that that's your preferred RAID paradigm. Um, under here we have mode. Now what this mode is for is your operating system will install, like I said, with a uh, single RAID 1 across all of your disks, even if you had four disks, so mirror across all of them. Now we recommend that you install the operating system in a, either, in a RAID 1 manner uh, the, the root of the operating system in, in that manner. For experts though, they can choose this unallocated uh, mode. So by default, your operating system is going to uh, cover all of the disk. You know, the operating system partitions, the root file system is going to cover all of the disk. But some very savvy um, admins may understand how to do mount points and be able to do um, more advanced type features. And they may want to say, okay, I want this part of my operating system installed, um, but I want to allocate out the rest of my um, space manually. So what this does in al unallocated mode is it sets up the um, root file system in a very small partition. So it's about uh, 22 to 23 gig worth of space. 
and then it will become incumbent upon the administrator to then do the expert type activities to uh, snap in you know uh, different partitions where they want to within the, the file system so this is really a, a useful thing for uh, advanced uh, administration of the box and for you know really uh, kind of what you would do if you're going to an office scenario right you may want to be able to set up multiple partitions with different raid paradigms raid 1 for the operating system raid 10 for your database and raid 5 maybe for your uh, your message store if you're doing like a mail server for example you want the database really fast but you want lots of space for attachments and things like that so uh, these are the options that we have here. If I choose expert mode, then what it will do is it'll say the RAID mode allocated is, is zero. So meaning you've got this uh, mirrored operating system and the rest of that is yours to, to do with later, not, not as part of the reinstall. So once the RAID modes are set to what you want, um, I'm going to choose here uh, RAID 10 for my operating system root partition and RAID 0. I'm going to allocate out the rest of it uh, and I'm going to return to the main menu. So from here you can actually start the reinstall uh, process proper and you can choose to reinstall ClearOS. You're going to get a, a, conver uh, a, 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 a confirmation screen here to you know really do it because this is going to wipe everything on the disk. You're going to start over. The only thing that is going to survive is the utilities partition on the disk that um, contains the installer and things like that. So when they start up on the RAID in the advanced menu, that's really for the reinstallation aspect of it. It's not necessarily in the first install. Right, because the first install is happening at the factory, right? You're going to get the machine pre-installed with ClearOS. And so when it installs at the factory, it's going to actually use the uh, the option that we talked about here, which is that they uh, is going to set it for the full part, full disk, and it's going to use this optimized space and redundancy. If you choose this on the list, it will actually set it back to the default for the RAID level. I see. And then it'll it'll make its best uh, best guess, right? It'll look at how many disks you have and say, oh, you've got three disks, and uh, uh, you know, and the best thing for redundancy on, on three disks is RAID RAID one, right? So let's assume that they got this from the factory and they're going through the preload process. Once they go through the preload process, if they chose to keep it when they reboot it, they wouldn't come back into advanced options because they've chosen to keep well you can you can choose to keep it and then still do a reinstall later that's the neat thing about this utility is oh, that I you see. can always reinstall your operating system you know maybe you're doing a, a backup or you know you messed up or you know maybe you're going to repurpose the server somewhere else mm -hmm. and you want a kind of a fresh start right well you know the the typical scenario is well now i got to go find my installation media and you know, reinstall everything from, you know, some USB drive that I, I don't know where it is, right? Mm -hmm. Or I got to download something. Well, we have that installation media already on there and we keep it on there for a couple of reasons. Number one, it makes the reinstalls a lot quicker. And number two, you can do some other advanced things like you can rescue the system. So that same utility that does the installation also is capable of uh, doing a rescue. And what that looks like is that it will boot a version of ClearOS that will come up with some options that say, you know, do you want to scan the disk to see if I can find your partitions? Or do you want me to, you know, uh, set up without uh, doing that? It's, it's really great because you can actually get in there and fix some real world disastrous problems. You know, we've seen people with corruption on a, on a single disk cause the system not to boot and then be able to come into this rescue utility and be able to repair the damage or fix the file system. We've had people uh, fix uh, RAID problems and we've had people, um, you know, rebuild uh, LVM partitions or, or even do, you know, advanced stuff like, uh, you know, restore connectivity uh, 
where you know the system wasn't booting. Um, it's also useful, say for instance, you do something where you uh, lock out, uh, you know, you lock yourself uh, out, and you need to be able to, you know, boot up off of the the uh, the, the, the the media. Um, you can use that tool to even fix stuff like. Um, you know your boot process is loading some script and it never finishes and it causes everything to hang or crashes the system right maybe you're experimenting with a, a package and that's supposed to start up on boot but instead it crashes the server right or you've got some sort of initialization script that somebody made a mistake in and, and just sets it into a reboot and you get a perpetual reboot those are types of activities that typically you'd be running for the media to the installation media to do the rescue mode, but we've in, we've kept that on the disk and available on the utility storage. So assuming that they had one of these issues where they needed to go into rescue mode, all they need to do is reboot their machine. It would come up into the screen and they would be able to select that option. Boom, and then they're in. Okay. Yeah. These are really, really great utilities and um, you know, we're really proud to put them on there. And this is, uh, this is one of those things that makes a differentiation between um, just doing a regular install of ClearOS mm -hmm. and getting it from HPE where we've put these utilities, we've put this intelligence to try to make it easier for users and uh, managed service providers to provide a, a high quality product to their customers and to their users. Awesome. Well, thank you, uh, Dave. This has uh, been another recording here on uh, how to use the pre-install advanced options. We covered RAID, we covered reinstallation and the rescue utility. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate it. All right, thank you.